everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to episode four of the Living Alone Diaries. I'm gonna be honest, I was woken up this morning in so much pain because I'm due on my period within the next like week or so. And every like three or four periods, I get really, really bad hip pain and I could feel it all day yesterday. And it's not as bad today, it's definitely dulled down. But you know when it's just like a constant dull ache and it's just one of those annoying things that like I can't shake it off my mind so I can always feel it. So that was fun. I love being a girl so much. I love having ridiculously heavy periods. It's such a good time every month. Today's Friday, I have just finished filming Filming a TikTok for Revlon. I'm pretty sure it will be up by the time this video goes up. But I basically did my hair in it and my hair feels so soft and so amazing. It's for one of their blow dryers and I'm obsessed with it. And then in a little while, I'm actually gonna head out. I am gonna walk to the shop because all of, well, I'd say like a good 80% of my fridge food has just completely gone off. Just I need to get some more veg and stuff. I need to get some more fruit. I need to get some fruit so I can make acai in the morning. So I really wanna make an acai bowl. And I also need to pick up some meat and then some stuff that I can have for dinners over the weekend because I've completely run out and we've eaten all of our HelloFresh stuff for this week already. So I'm going to go and do that. Yesterday, Byron and I went on a walk and it was so lovely. We walked all around the centre of Manchester and it was really nice just to see the city and we stopped off. We had a subway and then we got a donut from Dunkin' Donuts on the way back and it was just so much fun. Like, I literally felt like... I felt like a city girl and it was such a weird, like a cool feeling. Walking around the city knowing that I live here and like there's a long street where you can see the towers that we live in and walking up that street and knowing that I live in these towers, it was such like a weird, cool feeling. So I wanna just go out on a walk again and do it. We also actually spotted a Tesco that we didn't realize we had near here because there's a Sainsbury's and then there's literally a Tesco on the corner but on the other side and I had no idea that it was there and I miss going to Tesco so I think that's where I'm gonna go to pick up the little bits that I need. I also got the loveliest delivery that I wanna show you guys. They messaged me on Instagram and they sent me a couple of homeware bits and because they're a Manchester based company, instead of posting it, they actually personally delivered it downstairs for me and they've also sent me some flowers and it was just the loveliest surprise to wake up to. That's the day's plan. Nothing elaborate at all. I'm just having a pretty chilled, chilled out work day today. Just want to get some food. And so, yeah, I just feel pretty like, ugh, because of my period. So, I don't really fancy doing much. So, the store is called Benji's. I will leave that out on screen if you want to see. And they sent me two cards. And it says, congratulations on your beautiful new apartment. Here's a little gift from us. Love, Ben and Jamie. Look how beautiful these flowers are. And they're dried flowers as well. So, I need to get a vase out and pop these in. But they are so beautiful. And it was such a lovely little thought. And then I got some fun little homeware bits I'm going to put out. So, I've got two brand new cushions. Oh, I need to stick a nail on. I've got two of these cushions. I love them. They're so nice. And then I've also got two white storage crates, which I'm going to pop up. And I think I'm going to use these in the kitchen. These cute little sass and bell coasters, which are going to match so nicely. And then they also sent me these two mugs here, which is so nice because I only have glass mugs or plain white ones. But look at these. They're so, so pretty. So thank you so much. Again, the app would have been on screen. They also do deliver. They're not just like a Manchester based company. They deliver everywhere. So please go and check out their homeware because this was such a lovely thought so thank you guys here is my otd for my walk i have actually changed my room around byron came over last night and i basically moved my mirror to here and then just swapped this over because having my mirror there was so backlit and like every time i sit there to do my hair i couldn't see anything because the sun always comes in on that side of the building through the entire day so i decided to move it and now the lighting is so much better so for my otd i've got on my brown north face i've just got on a black roll neck and then these black trousers nothing fancy today i just thought I'd wear a very simple, simple outfit. I'm just going to pop on some trainers and then we can go. The walk's only going to take me like 10, 15 minutes and then I might get a coffee as well. Who knows? Let's see where the day takes us. If you haven't seen either on my TikTok, you need to go and watch it because it's so funny. Last night after we changed my room around, Byron and I were like, okay, let's actually try and film a singing duet because we listened to loads of karaoke on TikTok, so we tried to do it. And I filmed, I'd say I probably got like 25 of them in my draft, of us seriously trying to sing an Adele song, but one of them was genuinely funny. So I posted it and in no way did I think we sounded good at all. Like we genuinely had tears of laughter coming down our faces listening to it back. And everyone's like, oh my god you guys sound so good you need to sing a cover and it has made us laugh so much we were literally up until half two and every time i watch it back it just makes me smile so much because i cannot believe we seriously tried to film a cover like we were being dead serious Anyway, go and check out the one I posted on my TikTok. I don't think I'm going to post any of the others because they are actually atrocious but the one I posted is like it's all right <laughs> back that was the shortest walk in the entire world i didn't actually realize how close it was i think i just remembered it being a lot further but it actually only took me 
probably like five minutes to walk to. I'm really proud of myself for going on that walk, you know, because I don't really talk about it a lot online, but sometimes when I go out on my own, I get really nervous and I just, I don't know, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I feel like it, but I just can't, like, I struggle to go places on my own. Some days it's completely fine and I can go out with, like, every inch of confidence in me and I do not care. And then other days I just can't, like, I don't know. I just have this, like, feeling on my body that, like, I'm being watched. I can't even explain what it is. It's the weirdest thing. Um, I'm really proud of myself because sometimes I have to really hype myself up to go out on my own um, and I did it and it was completely fine I loved it I saw some of you guys out which was really cool there was a group of girls on the opposite side of the road who were like screaming and waving at me which was really really lovely and then as I was walking back I actually don't know how they knew it was me because I still had my mask on but two girls like indicated in on the side of the road and they pulled their window down they were like are we okay to get a photo and I was like yeah yeah of course obviously kept my mask on and I was a distance but it was really really lovely it was just a nice little reminder of like why I do this and I feel like I've really missed meeting people I'm like meeting you guys and going to events and stuff so it's really lovely just to see people out and about it just reminds me of why I do it I need to empty my dishwasher because I'm currently having a smoothie in a mug I don't have any glasses left but you guys know you want a big fat Tesco haul so that is what I'm gonna do it was only like a little Tesco not Tesco extra I can't remember no, the Express Tesco Express that's what it was got some of these from the reduced section they are the eight Belgian chocolate profiteroles from the Tesco finest bit and I'm gonna have these for dessert tonight Tesco profiteroles hit different. I got some bananas which I am going to use tomorrow morning for my acai bowl. I got some green olives because I'm loving stacking the olives at the moment. I got one red onion. I got a little loaf of bread because all my bread has run out. I got a block of cheese because I've also run out of cheese. I got some raspberries and I got some tomatoes. Tomatoes just for like lunches and dinners and then these are for my breakfast when I have acai. Got some strawberries as well to have in the acai and then I also got some steak mints which I've never had before. I normally have beef mint, but it looked really nice, so I thought I'd give it a go. And then I also picked up some mozzarella and slow roasted tomatoes. Tomorrow night when Saturday night takeaway is on, I am gonna make myself a little like, is it called a charcuterie board? I'm gonna make myself one of those little boards up because Saturday night takeaway is literally the highlight of my week. Look at the sun blaring in. The lighting in these apartments is amazing and it keeps my mood up throughout the day. Like when it's really dark and dull, I find it so hard to work, but because there's so much light coming in, I love it. I'm gonna make myself one of those little boards tomorrow. I was in two minds with a to buy myself a steak like they had steak in the reduced section from the finest bit and it was not down from like six pound fifty so like three pounds i think but you needed to use it tonight and i don't know if i want a steak tonight but tomorrow i might just walk to the shop and get one from the reduced section again and cook it because i feel like saturday night in have like a saturday night takeaway on have a film on cook myself a steak i haven't cooked a steak here yet but it'd be quite nice now i need to tidy up i need to empty the dishwasher put a load of new stuff in empty the fridge out and put a load of new stuff in and then i need to tidy around i need to go downstairs and get posts so i'm just going to do a couple of little jobs around the house and then I what do I need to do today I need to edit together a TikTok and plan my video that I'm filming tomorrow and other than that it's a chilled one I'm very excited for a chilled one I feel like it's been you know a while since I've had like a chilled but productive day I'm either just like don't want to do anything at all or I'm really busy so it's kind of nice to have like an in-between day oh my god I'm obsessed I've put the flowers in the vase with the bunny tails and they look beautiful I'm so glad these are dried these are gonna last and I've just popped the crates up as well how cute are these I don't know whether to put them in the kitchen whether to save them for the office because I love them that much and then look how cute the cushions are I'm gonna put these on the sofa now and see what they look like but how cute and the coasters as well around here oh my god honestly this shop has got my exact exact vibe it is time for a little pamper evening so I've got my laptop on my tray and I'm gonna put a film on I've lit my candle got some shower gel and a little hair mask I don't need to do another hair mask because I literally washed my hair this morning you know when you just fancy like lying in the bath and having a chilled night that's what I'm gonna do then I'm gonna take my duvet into the living room and put a film on the tv get some snacks i'm very excited how nice does that look i want to get some lush actually that's what i might order tonight i might order myself some nice bath bombs i'm out of the bath i have just pulled the coffee table closer so i can have it right next to the sofa but i've got some olives some crisps some nacho cheese sauce some profiteroles and chocolate sauce and then some water and i am now going to watch a film i have been watching celebs go dating but i don't really want to watch it anymore i actually want to like get really engrossed into a good film so this is a uh, this time i'm going to spend the rest of my evening Look how yummy though. This is literally like all my favorite foods at the moment. Oh, I'm so 
so, so ready for this. It is now the next day, and I have just finished filming my morning routine, which is up on my channel if you guys do want to see. And now I have just, well, what have I just done? Done a TikTok, I've just took some photos. My place is a mess because I was filming this morning, and then I got ready, and then my bedroom is just an absolute tip, so I need to tidy that. And then today I'm honestly really not doing anything else. I just need to edit my video for tomorrow, and then I'm gonna sit tonight and make one of those charcuterie boards to watch Saturday Night Takeaway with. Sex in the City is such a good film. I honestly had no idea how amazing of a film it was. Once I watch Saturday Night Takeaway tonight, I'm gonna watch number two because I don't know, like it's just, it's an amazing film. You guys need to watch it if you haven't already. I can't believe I hadn't seen it. Like it's one of my mum's favorite films as well. So it just baffles me that I hadn't, but very, very, very excited to watch number two tonight now. That's all, just fancy a little update and uh, I'll see you guys when my place is tidy and I'm editing and I'm about to have dinner because I don't know what I'm gonna cook for dinner yet tonight. I forgot to show you guys this. It is honestly the cutest thing in the world. So I'm pretty sure you guys know two of my best friends, Dawn and Deb, they're actually in Manchester for uni, but obviously I haven't been able to see them yet. So all we've been able to do is Zoom. They sent me a housewarming card when I first moved in, but then they actually sent me this box full of stuff and it's got a load of homewarming stuff in and it is the cutest thing ever. Like, boys, I love you. They sent it in a beer box because they know that I've never tried beer before. They got me a very nice bottle of rosé wine, which is very exciting. I'm gonna put that in the wine fridge. They are so cute and they know me so well. They got me a monk's guide to a clean house and mind because they know that I love reading and I really wanted to read this book. Charming and fascinating insight into the Buddhist approach to life. I'm really excited to read this. I'm gonna pop that on my coffee table to start reading. And then they got me some crystals because they know that I love my crystals and they wrote like on the piece of paper and wrapped them up on what each one is for. They got me this one which is carnelian for creativity and motivation they got me obsidian which is for protection against negative energies let me just take this one out then they also got me citrine or citrine i think you say it for abundance happiness money and success i've now got these three i'm going to pop them in my crystal box and then i basically charge them depending on which one my nan says that i need i feel like i need to do a manifestation talk in this video and like a crystal talk so i'm definitely going to do that in this vlog but yeah love these and i cannot wait to start using them and then i'm going to save the best till last because i actually cannot believe they did this. They knew that I really wanted some shot glasses because I didn't have any uh, and they decided to get me some but with the worst pictures of me on. There's actually one that I cannot show because it is that bad um, but I can show you the other three. Can I show you this one? Yeah, I can show you this one. Look at this. This has got me on from my thumbnail from when my friend Katie came back home to surprise me. Um, they always take the piss out of me for this picture. I'm never going to live it down. I don't know why I put my thumbnail as it so... Yep, thanks boys. Then I've got this one here. Can I show you this one? Yeah, I can show you this one. This one, again, it's just not a good picture of me. Like, what on earth? This picture, I didn't even realise it was on the internet. So, again, thanks boys. That's the one I cannot show you because it's so bad. Like, I really cannot show you this photo. Um, so that one can stay firmly in my cupboard. And then this one here, honestly, they're the worst photos of me ever. What on earth? Like, what was I doing? I look so sad. So when people are allowed to come round and I say, oh, let's do shots. These are the shot glasses that I have. On like a serious note, I cannot tell you how much I love and appreciate those two boys so much. They are literally like my rocks and I know I can go to them for literally anything and everything. And opening all this stuff it made me really emotional so thank you boys i love you both a lot everything is tidy i'm now going to take my rubbish out i'm going to put a wash on and then i'm going to start to import my footage because i feel like this video is going to take me a while to edit look at this beautiful little sunset we've got going on tonight the sun always sets over this side and it looks amazing i feel like the camera's not really doing it justice but very very beautiful got my new slippers on these are so comfy they are from ego official i opened them in my morning routine they're obviously dupes of the louis vuitton ones but they're really nice they were like a tenner it is time to make some food so i think i want to make like a pasta bolognese just for my dinner but i don't want to have a lot i think i'm just going to use like a quarter of this mint and then i can save the rest for tomorrow's dinner and then i want to make one of the meat boards but i've got no meat so i'm just going to have like crackers and cheese and stuff i'm really confused because i was calling it a charcuterie board and then i said to my mum that i was making one and she was like anna i don't know what it is i've never heard it being called that before so i feel like i've just made an idiot of myself and maybe it's not called that i don't know or maybe i've really pronounced it wrong but that's what i'm going to do i feel like i'm not going to be able to watch saturday night takeaway like like as it's on uh because it's six o'clock now and i still need to make dinner and finish editing my video i feel like i'm gonna have to finish editing it after and then watch saturday night takeaway on like itv2 is it itv2 when they have it on again oh my god look at the sunset guys it's so pretty it's actually pink wow <laughs> I'm so excited to 
to watch Saturday Night Takeaway and to watch Billie Eilish's documentary. Like when I have something new to watch, I always get so much more excited. Otherwise I feel like I end up watching the same thing over and over again. That's my dinner time chat. Hi guys, I'm back in the kitchen. I am gonna make myself a little board and just put some food on here to have whilst I am watching Saturday Night Takeaway. I'm actually gonna have to watch it on catch up because it's now half past eight. I only just finished eating my dinner and cutting up my video and I still need to properly edit it. I've got these though, mozzarella and slow roasted tomatoes. I've got some olives, I've got some crackers, I've got some cheese, and I've got some pickled onions. Saf and I have just planned out our next collab. You guys are not ready for this. Like you, I think it's actually gonna be your, probably our favorite and 100% your favorite video that we are ever gonna upload. I think everyone is gonna go crazy for it. We're gonna sort it all out this weekend and it's gonna be uploaded in a couple of weeks. I'm so excited for you guys to see. Oh, well that smells lovely. Probably have like five or six crackers. Honestly surprised, I've only had a few out of this jar. Normally I'm picking at them all the time. I think it's because I put them at the back of the cupboard because I knew I was eating so many people don't like it was getting ridiculous. So I moved them to the back. So it wasn't in my like immediate thought process to go and have them. Oh, this looks so cute. Oh my God, I'm so excited for tonight just to sit there. Here's my little snack board for tonight. I'm so happy with this. And we are in the exact same position that I was last night. I literally feel like no time has passed. This is really weird. I've got my food and I've got Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway on ITV One Plus one on i have a weird obsession with ant and deck i don't know what it is i just love watching them so much so this is where i shall be for the next god knows how long it is like half past two in the morning right now um and i have tanned i have washed my hair i have stuck on some new nails i mean i still haven't washed my tan off it's developing right now i just wanted to switch the camera on because byron and i just finished watching the billy eilish documentary on apple tv and i have never felt like more inspired by a documentary than i have that that. the whole way through me and Brian were just like we want to be her like she is so unbelievably cool but she has sacrificed so much to be where she is and I just find her as a whole like such a fascinating human being because it's like she's our generation's Justin Bieber because like Justin Bieber was our generation but do you know what I mean like it's another version of Justin Bieber because he grew up in the spotlight so quickly and had fame his entire childhood and I suppose it's like Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez and like and she's like the latest person to go through that and it was just so fascinating watching her life and how you know she she recalls all her music in her bedroom and then she wins all those Grammys like it was just the most incredible documentary and you need to watch it if you haven't already what on earth is my hair doing and it made me feel very inspired and I just come back up to mine and I was like I just want to sit in this room because this room is going to be my office and I had the first load of deliveries come today so I'm surrounded like I'm, I'm honestly not going to show you this room uh, until I do my office decorating vlogs but I'm surrounded by boxes and work and just so many things and I just wanted to sit in here because I cannot believe that like watching her achieve her dreams makes me so like proud of myself for achieving mine to a lot of people having like an office might be a bit of a weird thing but for me to have my own filming space and to have my own office where I can come in and I can work and I can shut the door and this is my safe space to create whatever I want is like the best feeling in the entire world because I have worked from my bedroom my entire YouTube career and to know that now I've got to the point where like I can get myself an office and I can decorate it really nicely and I can have my achievements on show and you know I can separate my living and my work it is literally like the most amazing feeling and I just wanted to come and sit in here after watching that because it made me feel so inspired and just looking around and thinking you know what like I like, I hate to sound so cringe because it really is quite cringy, but at the same time, I'm really proud of myself, so I'm not really bothered. I really have made the impossible possible for myself. I am so proud of myself for this. Like, I have never probably been this happy in a long, long time, and I finally feel like I'm at such a good place in my life. And yeah, I'm just very, very happy. It was a very motivating documentary to watch. I mean, Byron took each other after, like, oh my god, like, we had tears streaming down our faces because the end is very emotional. Um, but yeah, you need to watch it. I feel like it will motivate motivate you so much and it will just like I don't know I can't explain it I've just never felt more motivated from watching anything in my life so just come to sit in here before I go to bed it literally is like half past two I'm so tired but yeah I'm just looking around I'm so excited for you guys to see this room come to life and of course I'm vlogging it the episodes will be out in a couple of weeks I think um because I'm still waiting for loads of deliveries I literally haven't even started I'm just surrounded by stuff but I know you guys are gonna love it so just wanted to include this little clip in my living alone diaries just as a little thank you to you guys because I know I I feel like I don't say it enough i feel like i don't say it enough i feel like everyone knows anyway but just how grateful i really am i feel like i don't say it enough but i really am so thankful for you
you guys so i just want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true and you know i've put the work in like i really really have i've sacrificed a lot and i work all the time to make these dreams come true but none of it will be possible unless you will watch so thank you very very much from the bottom of my heart because it makes me so extremely happy to think that this is my job and this is my life and you have made yeah, you've made my dreams come true. So thank you very much. Um, and on that note, I am gonna go to bed. I'm very tired, I'm very delirious. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday and I am just about to sit and have some breakfast. I've got crunchy nut clusters for breakfast this morning. Best cereal ever, I'm addicted to it. This is like my second box since living here. I woke up this morning, look how beautiful my tan has developed. Like I need to wash it off in the shower, I'm gonna get a shower after this. I love it so much. It's not really developed as much on my face, um, but my body and my hands and stuff look beautiful. And I was showing you last night as well my nails. I'll do a close up after this clip. You know when you just needed that glow up, like yesterday, woke up, I was so pale. My nails are falling off. My skin weren't looking great and I thought I need a glow up. So that's exactly what I did. I had a shower, tanned, stuck some new nails on, done some skincare. Need to do my hair again today because it's kind of a bit greasy. Um, and yeah, it was a really good day. I completely forgot I filmed that clip last night after the Billie Eilish documentary. I watched it back on my camera this morning and I was really delirious in it because I was so tired. Today I've got a fat to-do list, like a fat to-do list. I just wrote it down on my phone. Me and Haz have got a lot to do. We were like, right, let's actually write it down on paper. So and then at the end of the day we can bin it. So I need to do that. But this is the to-do list I've got so far. Edit Revan on TikTok, finish editing main channel video talk manifesting for this episode meeting at 3 30 which is very exciting finish thumbnail bondi sans vlog bondi sans tiktok plan my video plan my office series start edit on episode four food shop plan my pictures plan misguided video and stories tidy apartment cook pasta and tidy bedroom so i've got a really big to-do list to do today but the first thing that's not like in order that's just all the things i need to do but i need to edit my tonight video first I'd rather get that done and get the thumbnail done and everything get it scheduled and then do all my editing first and then I can get ready put some makeup on I don't need to really have makeup on until like two o'clock but I need to be ready to film and then do my meeting which I'm so excited for guys honestly I cannot wait for you to find out I've got a shoot for it next week so I might be able to include some like behind the scenes and stuff of the shoot I'm not really sure we're talking about all the logistics of it today on the meeting but very very excited I'm now gonna go away and eat my breakfast and then we're gonna edit and we're gonna get started on our busy busy day look how beautiful the nails are and the tan as well I obviously need to wash it off but such a beautiful color and the nails are so beautiful as well so I'll put the lovely girls out on screen who did my nails and then the tan is Bondi sand Bondi sand is the best tan ever I actually get the fright of my life every time this happens so basically when you get a parcel delivered here it goes into the parcel room but if you get a parcel that's like bigger then they ring you on a little tablet on the wall it's up there but it doesn't just like make a little noise first it makes such a loud noise that you actually jump out of your skin and it'll just be constantly there saying hi you've had a big parcel please would you be able to come down and get it but oh my god it is so loud and it's really annoying because i can't like show you unless they called me oh my god it actually just made me jump out my skin i don't actually know what it's downstairs right now because of a video that i'm filming with staff i don't want to give too much away because it's such an exciting video um but i also have my office stuff arriving so i'm guessing it could be something for the office. I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to get that parcel, and then we can go back to editing. Um, Miss Barker, what on earth have you sent me? This is for our video and it's absolutely huge, and I don't want to spoil anything that we're doing, but oh my god. Like, don't get me wrong, something that she's getting as well is big, but this is huge. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave you with that. Just get you excited for the video. I'm already, I haven't done my hair like this in so long. My hair is really greasy and I didn't want to wash it. So just got two little bits down. I've put it up. I'm kind of like losing hair at the front. I'm not really sure what's going on with my uh, hairline, but uh, we're just gonna roll with it. I've got a meeting in 20 minutes, but before that I wanted to talk to you guys quickly about my manifesting because I got so many questions on it. I'm not a pro manifester, okay? I haven't been doing it for long enough to get it right. And like all of my manifestations, well actually no, I say like, 80% of my manifestations definitely haven't come true yet because they're not things that could just come true overnight. I personally really like using crystals and I actually have discovered now that I do like writing things down. I didn't think I did and then I tried it and actually I 
much prefer it. There's loads of different affirmations that you can write down, but I basically have a book and I will get the affirmation from the internet and I'll make them quite long because the whole point of manifesting is you're meant to put it to the universe and then you're not meant to think about it again. And if I think about it, then it's not gonna come true. So I get affirmations that I can't remember. So they're quite long. I mean, this one's very short, but this is just an example. Like I am deserving of my dream life and I will write that down like 10 times and then shut the book and I won't look at it again. I don't write it down all the time. Like I write it down maybe one every three weeks and I don't do the same ones every three weeks as well I'll kind of break it up and do different ones but that is personally for me I think the way I'm going to carry on doing it and then every time it is a really sunny day or it is a full moon I will always charge my crystals so I've got my rose quartz on my table there and then all of my others are by my bed the last full moon was the first time I properly charged my crystals I think I filmed it actually in the living alone diaries episode two just like a montage of my crystals and the candles and stuff and I have some really soft music on and yeah the moon was beaming in so I put my crystals in a bowl of water and you put some salt in um, and then you put your crystals in and the sun or the moonlight charges them. My nan loves all the crystals and stuff so my nan told me that I personally needed clear quartz and rose quartz and she then also told Byron has what they need as well. I just love doing it. It gives me a really like positive outlook on life. If you do want to watch something to learn a bit more about it I would recommend The Secret. I've read The Secret book and I've watched the documentary on Netflix. Both amazing. I've also got The Greatest Secret book there that I'm halfway through now and then there's also another film on Netflix called The Secret Dare to Dream and it's basically how the secret is used in real life and it's really really good so I would definitely recommend watching those if you want to know a little bit more about it. That's basically the gist of what I do. I haven't been doing it long enough to be able to know all the tips and tricks and to try different things and I kind of want to try that the sage around my house and everything but yeah I haven't been doing it long enough so definitely going to look into doing that soon. Right I'm going to sit on my phone for like 10-15 minutes before I have this meeting and then I'm going to do this meeting and then I think we're going to do a food shop because I need food. Byron has it theirs the other day, but I need to get food. I think Byron's gonna take me to Asda and get mine. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the plan for today. And then we're gonna watch a film. We're gonna have a film night, which I'm excited for. You probably saw in the background there, I uh, got my Coke delivery. I get one of these every month from Amazon and it's like 12 pound, I think for 24 cans. Get a really good deal on there. So I uh, got my delivery today. I need to pack those away in the fridge. I don't think I've been this excited in a long time. I just got off the Zoom call and holy, oh my God. It is literally the most insane thing. I cannot wait for you guys to see this and it's not gonna be long either like next month you're gonna know this is the most insane thing i've ever done like, i i cannot believe i know this makes no sense right now because you have no idea what i'm on about but that was the best zoom call of my life and my manager was on the call as well but as soon as i got off i voice noted her that like, page i'm freaking out i cannot believe that she was like i could literally see your face on the call like you were so excited so very very happy i am now going to go down to house and byron's and byron is going to take me to asda i'm going to get some food ah, i'm so excited we shake the sound. 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 I'm really out of breath. Really am so unfit. I've just run up to mine from Haz and Byron's because Haz is cooking up a storm in the kitchen. Um, and she's cooking us mashed potato with, I think it's spinach mixed in with it. Then we're having honey mustard sausages with onion gravy. It's one of our HelloFresh meals. So I've just run up to mine to grab some uh, cans of coat to have with dinner. <sighs> I need to start working out. And tonight's plans, because we've both had such a productive day, I've literally done pretty much everything off my to-do list that I needed to do, apart from like two things, which I'm just gonna do when I'm in bed. Um, and I'm all prepped for tomorrow to film and get loads of stuff done again. Um, so we were actually gonna sit and we're gonna watch Hairspray the Musical because I've never seen it. I feel like I've just never watched loads of the classic films or musicals and stuff that everybody else has watched. So I'm actually gonna take up the snacks with me. I've got these from Asda. Winter Georgie's looking like a shout. I'm already. I feel like I need to make one of those TikToks. I don't know if you guys have seen them where you like walk to your best friend's apartment store, knock on the door and you're like, surprise. Probably not seeing them. Maybe it's just me. Good morning, everyone. It is cocktail time. So realistically, it's not actually morning, but I'm also not having an alcoholic cocktail. So bit of a weird intro from me. I'm filming like a girls chat mukbang, which is already going to be up by the time you guys watch this. And I really wanted to have a strawberry daiquiri in it. And I've never made one before. So I thought I'd whip one up. However, it is actually 16 minutes past one. And I don't really fancy drinking alcohol at this time of the day. And I also have a meeting later on tonight. So not really fancying it. But we're going to give a virgin one a go. We're going to make a virgin strawberry daiquiri. I found a recipe and we're going to give it a go. Hopefully it's nice. 
I need two strawberries here. So let me just cut these off. I'm also gonna add in like two raspberries, I think. I love this kind of fresh fruit. Reminds me of summer. Right, they're in there. And then you want a teaspoon and a half of sugar. Lemonade, let me get this open. And then pour some lemonade in here. I really don't actually need a lot of this drink because my cocktail glasses aren't very big at all. And then you wanna add some ice. And I have got this tiny little ice cube tray. How cute is this? And then I need to pop a load. Oh, not coming out. What's going on? Just had to put them all on my side, but let's just drop these in here. Right. It's a little bit more liquidy than I would have liked, but oh, it smells lovely though. That smells really nice. And you know what? With rum in it, because obviously strawberry daiquiris normally have rum in it, I think that'd be really good. First time using my fancy cocktail glasses. Pour this in here. Oh, I may have made the perfect amount. Wow, I measured that really good. And here is my cocktail for my video. I am now going to go in there and film. I've also ordered some little sushi pieces to have with it. I know I'm a changed woman now. So uh, if you do want to go and watch that full video, you can go and watch and then I'll update you guys when I finish filming. Well, that was a fun little video. I'm just laying down in bed for five minutes and I'm going to finish off my sushi. I'm addicted to it. How many pieces do I have left? It is such a nice day today. Summer is on its way, thank God. And Haz and I, and I think Byron might join as well, are gonna go to the roof terrace in our building. We didn't realize it was open all this time. We thought it was shut. It was actually open, so we could have gone and sat up there a long time ago, but it was really cold, to be fair. But we're gonna go up there, we're gonna take some food, and then Haz and I have actually got a meeting tonight, which I'm so excited about. Guys, honestly, I don't wanna spoil what it is, and I don't think Haz is gonna tell anyone what it is either yet, but it's basically about future content like it involves future content for you um it's very 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 exciting for us and i love meetings especially meetings like this so we're gonna go for a walk we're gonna have our meeting we're gonna have some food we're gonna sit in the gardens it's gonna be a really nice day today i'm happy because i've done all my work already done the tiktok filmed a video i could sit and edit when i get back um yeah it's a good day it's a really good day let me just have one more piece of sushi Welcome. I am off. This is my outfit of the day. I've got on a black roll neck. I've just got on my North Face in my hand. I've got on these trousers from Motel. I need to do my shoelace up. My shoe is coming done, but I've got on my brown Mocha Jordans. I've got on this cute little bag from PLT. And we are off. We are on the roof terrace. I decided to get a acai bowl and I also got a brownie. We've got some cider and then has got a pokey bowl. Please ignore how backlit this is, but so beautiful weirdest acai bowl i've ever had in my life because it didn't come with any fruit on it it's like a smoothie bowl it's, yeah it's more like a smoothie bowl basically just a smoothie that i'm eating with a spoon um but it's really good and the brownie as well is a peanut butter brownie so I just finished filming. I filmed a video I think you guys are going to really like, actually. I'm trying a different style of thumbnail for it as well. thought it would be kind of fun, so we'll see how that works. Check out Wednesday's video. I'm done filming for the day now, so I need to go downstairs and I need to pick up parcels. I have so many parcels at the moment, it is disgusting, I know. It's because everything for the office is coming in the space of, like, three days. So downstairs, I know they absolutely hate me. And downstairs, I've got, like, two big pieces of furniture. I've got loads of stationery. And then I think the iMac that I ordered has also been delivered. I didn't actually realize how much stuff i was going to need for the office i think i've got the final two things coming tomorrow um and then that should be it with the parcels but i need byron's help because i get embarrassed going downstairs on my own and asking for all those parcels and getting them onto the trolley and taking them up it's actually quite a job um so i'm gonna wait for byron to finish editing and then i'm gonna pretty please with my fingers crossed go to him with the puppy dog eyes and like please will you help me i love the video that i just filmed though and i also filmed a little behind the scenes of me doing the instagram stories i think i might try and take a picture before i like put my hair up and stuff and get into some comfy clothes because i love this outfit it's so cute so let's see if we can get a picture if we can't i'm not going to stress i'm just going to do picture day tomorrow anyway so i'm not trying to like force myself to do it today if i like to take pictures i have to really be in the mood so i set like a full day for it plan like five outfits and then i'll just take them all in one day but yeah that's pretty much it had some sushi for lunch again which was nice i got it from asda yesterday had some little avocado rolls they were 10 out of 10. And then tonight for dinner, I think I'm going to use up the rest of my mint and I'm going to have maybe soft shell tacos or could have fajitas actually. But I kind of fancy...
tacos and doritos and some dips here is the fit in hair i love it so much it is all from misguided and then i've got the jordans on from crep cured on instagram bag is also from misguided and then i showed my hair up like this just a little quick easy hairstyle and now i'm gonna ask hazel byron to take photos of me downstairs i just want to get a cute little photo in the lift because i love this cold kind of like vibe i've got going on right now could take it in the car park but i feel like a lift a lift pick could be cute guys i just opened my letterbox and mum and Atticus has sent me a little letter it says to anna i love and miss you all my love mummy and then on the other side Atticus has wrote to Anna, I love you, love from Atticus. Oh, I really want to see them like right this second. PR time. In every episode, there is always going to be a little PR haul because at the moment I've been getting quite a lot of PR. And I'm also sat in my office or what is going to be my office, surrounded by boxes. I went and got posts and a lot of it is now here. I'm just waiting for my rug that's coming tomorrow, my desk that should be here on Tuesday latest. And then there's also a little footstool coming tomorrow. But other than that, like all of my other furniture is here now it's going to be a very exciting time building this room i'm so excited for it and of course i will be filming the whole thing but as of now all you can see behind me is this which is not really a lot to be honest it's my clothing error and loads of packages hi anna we know how much you love squashies we thought we'd send you some of our easter themed chick shaped orange or pineapple flavored squashies let us know what you think and we hope you love them as much as us love the squashies team this is so fun it's so weird actually that i'm on the squashies pr list because they are literally my favorite sweet ever like drumsticks and swizzles oh i love let's have oh whoa this is so cool thank you so much they are orange and pineapple flavored and i've got lots of bags here i'm definitely not gonna be able to eat all of these on my own so how's the byron you've got lots of treats coming your way thank you so much for that is so lovely next up here we have got in the style this is in the style x Tid and l let's have a look inside this box oh this is so cute there's loads of printouts of their picture that says in the style x Tid and l and says we hope you love these pieces from Sid and l drop two collection and launching friday at 6 p.m there's also in here a candle oh there's wax melts oh my god this is so cute <gasps> tanologist face drops oh my god oh my god they are beautiful are you kidding and there's a little nail kit oh my god thank you so so much in the style and i've got here one of their jumpers it says beverly hills california thank you so much and congrats girls on another beautiful collection we have then got another box here and actually that just reminded me you guys are going to find something very very exciting out very soon i have a shoot for it next week like i was going to be saying and um yeah all i'm saying is something quite big is coming this ain't a really long time to come actually i basically want to thicken my hair and actually since i've been using odoplex guys it has saved my hair i've been using odoplex number four shampoo and number five conditioner i think it is or it's the other way around then i've been using the revlon roll brush like to dry my hair and this here is what my hair looks like after a hair wash like just with odoplex and that so i'm not really like curling my hair anymore i probably will tomorrow maybe for photos um but other than that i'm literally just using the roll brush and then just leaving it and my hair feels so much better for it this one says it's for thickening and restoring for weak and brittle hair and i don't know how you pronounce this brand maui moisture hair care i've got the shampoo and the conditioner and i got the hair mask then i also picked up this which is the odoplex number seven bonding oil it says boost shine strengthens and repairs all hair types so i thought i would give that a go very excited to try that i can't believe that took oh, it's so long to come i'll show you some pieces i got the other day so sisters and seekers sent me a cute little parcel and it has this vest in which is beautiful and then it also had this pair of knickers in and then it come with a mug that says i prefer my own company i'm gonna keep that for the office when it's done then i've got a pile of clothes here so so I've got some I actually ordered and then I've got a load from Motel Rocks they sent me. Love them so much. This cowgirl hoodie, well jumper. I've got some grey trousers. I've got this cute little white crop top. I've got some grey jeans. I've got this brown top here. I've got these funky jeans which I thought were really cool. I've got some brown jeans. But lots of clothes there so I'm going to put all those on my Instagram. Urban Decay X ASOS. This is very exciting. Launching 1st of March. Ace of and Body with the new Naked Wild West pack. Oh, this is fun. It's a bandana. And then we've got the Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette. I've got the Lash Freak Mascara. And then I've also got here Eyebrow Primer Potion Throwback. I haven't used that in ages. This is really cool. They have stitched my name onto a denim jacket. How sick is that? And there's little patches that I can sew on, like the Wild West patches and the cactuses. And then there's also, I think, oh, ear cuffs. 
Thank you so much ASOS and Urban Decay. That is such a cool PR parcel. And then I've also got this box here from Lottie London. We've got some sugar cookies here. We've got some rosé in a can, which we always love to see. I've got a lavender pillow spray, some misguided pyjamas, a little eye mask here. And then it is for the launch of their new lip balm. Sweet Lips lip balm, which I'm very excited for. I've got the green one here. I've got the pink one. And then there's another one here as well. It's like a peachy one. Thank you very much, Lottie London. That is lovely. And I'm very excited to use all of that. And then I also had new in from Frank Body which is the exfoliating hair mask it says it's the caffeinated scalp scrub oh and caffeinated hair mask very excited to use these i love frank body stuff i love the packaging as well oh it smells so good so thank you very much frank body for those i'm excited to give those a try that is everything new in this week that i got from pr and then i just basically have in here yeah loads of parcels for my office which i'm going to start doing i think on monday maybe i might start doing it because then hopefully the desk will arrive tuesday or wednesday at the latest and then i can put that up wednesday and that'll be finished my imac came today which is exciting i've never had a desktop computer before so i'm so excited to have an imac and i can sit and edit on that and yeah that's basically what my life is like at the moment i now need to have a massive tidy and i'm really tired and i cannot be bothered but i just know that i'll feel better for getting it done i don't even know what i vlogged this week i really don't the next episode of the living alone diaries will be really good because i've got lots of stuff that i want to do in it but i literally do not know what is in this episode i'm going to end this here i hope you guys have enjoyed make sure to go and catch up on the other three episodes if you haven't already i will leave them linked down below they're literally 40 minutes long i feel like this is doing like a tv series that i'm doing i love you all so much and i will see you very very soon for a brand new video Mwah.